All right, today we're taking a look at a cool little L bracket handle for all the major gimbals out there by DF Digital Photo. All right, guys, well, here's a cool little gadget that I came across. I don't know about for you, but as a Sony a7 III user, whenever you have this thing on a gimbal, it's not necessarily the focus that's an issue because the autofocus is real good. But as you can see here, this is the Crane 2. So some of the newer ones have sort of sorted this problem out. But as you can see right here, there's no flip out screen. And the back of the gimbal is right in front of the screen. So like I said, the autofocus is pretty good. That's not going to really be your issue. The issue is framing your shot. And yeah, you can get around it. You can kind of... What I would do is kind of keep it at an angle like this. That opens up the screen to be seen, and it makes the shots a lot easier than trying to walk like this. All right, but sometimes that's not enough. You're doing different angles. You're going for different type of shots. Let's be honest, the image out of this camera is great. The screen on the back, not so great. Bright light, can't see it. Reflections from the sun, can't see it. Any sort of vision issues like four eyes, sometimes you can't see it. So it'd be nice to have a monitor where you can see. But, I don't know, where the hell do you put a monitor, right? I was looking for something that would help me mount my monitor here while also not impeding with the use and actually enhancing it. I came across this cool little gadget here. So this is from a DF Digital Photo. And it's basically an L bracket handle. So they call it the L bracket, but it's a handle. Then it has a cold shoe mount. It has your twist in thread here. And then there's some other stuff. So let's take it out and I'll show you what I like about this thing. All right, so I had already opened it. It wasn't in this bag, but the bag comes with it. All right, so here's the arm itself. It's like cast aluminum, super smooth, feels good. We have a quarter inch right here, quarter inch thread here. I already put this in, but it comes with uh, another twist in. So you have a quarter inch there, you can put attachments. It has a thread here, another thread here, here. Oh, at the top. And then you can also take off this cold shoe right here and uh, put another one. So you can see, fits basically fits my hand pretty good. I, I wear a large size glove. It gets all my fingers on. It's a little small, but I have a Sony camera there, so I'm used to the pinky kind of coming off. It has this little rubber mat right here. So it's going to help it latch on, get a good hold on the bottom of your gimbal. And something else that I found that's actually pretty cool. You can mount this straight to the bottom of your camera. So let's say you don't necessarily need your gimbal, but you want to do some handheld work. But you're just not able to really get the shot you want. Put this on the left side. You got your right side handle there. Screw it in. Now you have two points. Of connection right there so that's an extra for this but let's uh, go ahead and put it on the gimbal and then we'll take a look all right I got it mounted here and as you can see this is a this is something that I wasn't sure of when I ordered it I was hoping it wouldn't get in the way but it actually has a quarter inch thread at the bottom so you can put your legs back on because that would really defeat the purpose of this product if you weren't able to now sit your gimbal down but it does have that option. So now we still have a way to sit our gimbal down and we have this good handle. And what I like about it is once you select where it's gonna be, it's not, it's not moving. You can put it on either side or you can even mount it in the back here. So it's a real cool little setup. Let's just go ahead and throw a monitor on here just to see. So also inside of the bag 
It comes with an Allen key and this little adjustable arm. So this little adjustable arm is what we're going to use here. All right, so I went ahead and put a monitor on here. And this isn't, I don't have the battery and I don't have the cable ran to the, to the camera. But I just kind of wanted to show you how it could go. Or you could also, like with this monitor, you can mount it on the side and actually get it out of the way. So that's how I normally do it, but I just wanted to show you here. But just now adding this and holding it just for this video, it starts to get a little bit heavier. So this extra handle lets you kind of spread the weight around and you can get, I like to keep my elbows in close. So this kind of helps you there. Boom, you're keeping it all in close. And now I have a much better view of what's happening here than that little obscured screen. That's just my quick review of the DF Digital Photo L bracket. So I hope you enjoyed it.